Intellectual Disability Intellectual disability is when someone has below average intelligence, making it harder to learn, solve problems, or adapt to daily life. This isn't about laziness, it's about how the brain develops. Causes can include genetics, birth complications, illness, or early injury. People are grouped by level. Mild cases, IQ 50 to 69, can read, write, and do simple jobs. Moderate cases, IQ 35 to 49, need more help with daily tasks. Severe cases, IQ below 35, often depend on others for most activities. Having an intellectual disability doesn't mean a person can't live a meaningful life. With support, education, and acceptance, many can go to school, work, and contribute to society. The key is understanding the person, not the label. Everyone has potential, and with the right help, they can grow, learn, and thrive. Below average. Below average intelligence refers to having an IQ between 70 and 85. People at this level can live independently, but complex reasoning or abstract thinking may be harder. Subjects like math, science, or grammar can feel challenging. They learn differently through repetition, practice, and hands-on experience rather than theory. Many thrive in structured environments with clear routines like customer service, caregiving, or manual work. Socially, they can be loyal, outgoing, and emotionally aware, often noticing feelings in others faster than solving problems. Practical skills shine where theory fails. The key point, below average intelligence does not equal below average worth. With support, they can build families, succeed in jobs, and contribute to their communities. Respecting what they can do, rather than judging what they can't, allows them to truly thrive. Average intelligence. Average intelligence means having an IQ between 85 and 115. It allows you to read, write, do basic math, follow rules, and solve everyday problems. You understand cause and effect, make plans, and learn from mistakes. Average intelligence is the foundation of daily life, routines, relationships, and practical problem solving. But here's the catch. It can also be a trap. People often think they know everything, yet they may miss their own blind spots. They rarely question deeply because life seems to work fine as it is. This level holds the largest group of people, not because they can't grow, but because they don't feel the need to try. Still, average intelligence keeps the world running. It's balanced, functional, and adaptive. Above average. Above average intelligence means having an IQ between 116 and 129. People at this level learn faster than most. They don't just understand information. They see patterns and connect ideas others might miss. In school, lessons may feel slow or repetitive, and they often grasp concepts quickly while others catch up. This intelligence shines in problem-solving fields, math, coding, engineering, philosophy, where logic and abstract thinking matter. They enjoy puzzles, complexity, and figuring out systems. Conversations can feel slow because their minds are already several steps ahead. But thinking faster can also bring frustration. Not because others are slow, but because the pace is different. Some hold back their thoughts or pretend to be normal to fit in. The key is balance. Above average intelligence is a gift when paired with patience and empathy. With the right mindset, these individuals can innovate, solve problems, and bring new ideas to life while staying connected to the people around them. Gifted intelligence. Gifted intelligence means having an IQ of 130 or above. People at this level often learn quickly, sometimes effortlessly. While others need repetition, they may understand an idea after hearing it just once. In school, this can make them feel bored or misunderstood because the pace rarely matches their thinking. Gifted minds are naturally curious. They ask why when others are satisfied with what. They connect ideas across subjects, math, art, music, science, seeing patterns most people miss. Their creativity and problem solving make them natural innovators. But being gifted isn't always easy. Fast thinking can feel isolating. Interests and ideas may differ from peers and expectations can feel heavy. Intelligence opens doors but also brings pressure. The truth is, giftedness is about being different, not better. With support and balance, these individuals can thrive, push science forward, create art, or design solutions that change lives. True brilliance is using intelligence with purpose, empathy, and vision.